Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Ken Metral, the founder of Cosmico Studios. And today's topic is going to be around the top three lead capture form solutions. So a lead capture form is basically a form that you can host on your website, or you can send a link across uh, through email or through social media. Essentially, it's a form. But these three companies that I've chosen have taken these simple forms and have advanced it so far along so that now they're more like smart forms in the ways that you can capture the perfect lead and along with doing that, make sure that you have the correct type of prospects you're looking for. And it works well with your company. So besides using it for your company, you can use it on your website as well. There are a ton of forms out there, but I believe these three I'm gonna to explain to you are gonna be the main ones which I think would work best for most small to medium sized companies and even for enterprise sized companies. Also, as you can see, I have a new microphone here. So I think the audio hopefully sounds better. I noticed that it was a bit of uh, an echo sound in the back. So if it sounds better, let me know. So I know that I made a good purchase with this uh, microphone here. So let's get it going. Okay, so first would be hub spot forms. So if you already use HubSpot or may have heard of it, they are a CRM product, CRM solution or company similar to a Salesforce. And they're able to help you organize your customers, your prospects, your sales. And it goes with the whole pipeline when it goes to marketing and inbound marketing and sales. So if not, I have another video, which I'll probably link to up here. That you can see the difference between HubSpot and Salesforce and see whether you might be uh, inclined to use a service like theirs. Either way, the forms feature of HubSpot is very important because it's a way to capture leads that work well with the CRM. So let's get into a brief history. I'll try to keep it simple so that you don't have to uh, spend so much time researching. They were based or founded, sorry, in 2006 and they are based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Basically, they're based in the States, so if you are a company that's based in the United States, I think it works well to work with other companies in the States that provide a service you're looking for. Now, let's go through the key features. Besides being just a basic, simple form, they took it a step further. Um, first, starting off that it integrates well with the CRM, which is part of the reason why they even have this feature, because if you have a CRM and you're working with them, is beneficial to use their form because it works the best along, as opposed to using third-party forms. So let's put integrates the best, or I guess well, with their CRM. Also, they are very easy to use. The CRM is very user focused and user friendly, so it makes sense that the form feature as well is easy to use and has a nice UI and UX, so that when you create your forms, you, can, you don't have much difficulty and everything works seamlessly. And lastly here is that they have many personal, personal I can't say it, personalization or customization, personalization features. Meaning that depending on which form you create, you can have one form be catered to a specific type of clientele or prospect and have another form be something else catered to a different audience. So it's cool that you have this feature that you can customize each form and depending on where the customer is on the website or any other channel, you can track it all through the CRM and see which form brings the most traffic and why. So I'm going to the pros and cons, but usually the pros go along with the key features here, which I think are very similar. Yeah, they're easy to use. They have the seamless integration. And what else? Customizable. So basically, the key features are also the pros of HubSpot Forms. Now let's go on to their cons. The cons are where you truly see if their product is worth using or not, because every company can boast that they're the best company, they have all the best solutions, but the cons really tells you who they are and what they can and cannot do. So for cons, these are the top three. 
it is hard to create comple complex forms. Complex forms. So if your form requires a lot of steps or a lot of in-depth um, answers to the questions you ask your prospects, I believe that it's not that great. For example, we use them for our company, but our questions that we ask in our lead forms are not so complex. They're more simple and just straightforward questions. That's why it works best with the HubSpot forms. We also use the CRM too, so that makes another reason why we use the forms as well. And it works best for us, but it does not mean it, it would work best for your company either. Um, besides that, slow performance. outside their ecosystem. So HubSpot, not only do they have a CRM, but they also um, have a CMS, which is their own website building platform. So obviously they would want you to use their CRM as well as their CMS and their HubSpot forms, which integrates everything together in the whole ecosystem. We don't use them with the HubSpot CMS, only with the CRM. So when we use them outside of their ecosystem, we don't, we don't really notice a difference, but a lot of people have said that it goes, uh, there's too much traffic or there's too much visitors filling out the form. It has pretty slow performance, but only if it's third party, meaning that you're not hosted on their CMS platform or, or your website is not hosted with their CMS platform, which kind of sucks because they're pretty much forcing you to use their products because it works best only on their systems. Um, but I can understand why they want you to just, just to give up everything else and join them 100% and use all of their products. So I don't blame them. It just kind of sucks because it's a great product, but only works the best when you use their solutions. And lastly, their cons is that well, it's not really a, cl a con, but if you are asking very private questions or very, uh, let's say for like HIPAA, for example, or a very um, compliance centric type questions, they make sure that you have the right regulations, I'm sure the right terms and the right agreements for the user to fill out first before you allow them, before you ask them to fill out the forms with very sensitive information. So it's not really a con that they make it hard, but they have compliance requirements. Meaning if you're in the healthcare space, they'll most likely want you to verify that you are say who you say you are who you say you are and you have the permission to collect that type of information from your users or clients or customers. And lastly, I always like to add companies that use this service, just so you know that if a company like these use them, you can use them as well. Some examples are Ducati. They are reddit.com or reddit the app, DoorDash as well, Eventbrite, and Trello, the project management software. Big companies, I wouldn't say they're the top Fortune 50 or Fortune 500 companies, but you can, you can pretty much trust them, especially if you're on their ecosystem. So. If you're using the CRM, you might want to take to, you might want to take a look at their forms as well. So that sums up HubSpot forms. Again, we use them, so I like using HubSpot forms because it works best for us. But that doesn't mean that it would work best for your company. But we like them, so I would say give them a try. The main thing I like about HubSpot over Salesforce, for example, is that they're very easy to use. You have a nice UI and UX, so. And that they like to keep things simple, which is always something we love to do, is keep things simple, minimalistic, and just no fluff, just make it easy to use. So that's why we love them. But if you're not using HubSpot CRM and you have another platform, for example, for your um, client relationship management system, don't worry, it doesn't matter. The second will be type form. Oh, that Y looks weird. Let's do it again. All right. Type form. They have been getting pretty popular lately uh, because of uh, the way that they have a great user experience in the forms that they produce and the forms that they create. I'll go more into that, but just to give you a quick history of Typeform, 
They were founded in 2012, so about 12 years ago or so. Um, and they're based in Barcelona, Spain. Some key features. Let's see here. They have a nice UI and UX, so user-friendly. Sit here. Next, they have a lot of custom looks. Too many O's here. I'll go through a little. Bit, I'll go through that a little bit more. And lastly, that they easy integration. with other tools like Google Sheets, Slack, and MailChimp. Basically, you might have already used Typeform before. A lot of companies use it for the sole reason is that user form shows you all the questions at once or between one or two steps. Type form focuses more on the user experience and the, the actual user itself. So they only ask you like one question at a time, which makes it more of a like conversational type uh, form so that the client or that the user won't leave the form and not finish uh, doing the actual survey or uh, anything you're asking for. So that's their main thing, the user experience which if you take a look at the website, you'll see how it works and that might be something you're looking for, but just keep that in mind when you're going through um, these type of forms out there. Next will be the pros, which again goes along with their key features. It's mainly user-friendly slash user experience. UI and UX are very, very nice compared to HubSpot, compared to the next one I'm, I'm about to let you know. Let's see what else. They are Strong integration. Yeah, I think next time I'll just leave out the pros and just do key features. Probably easier just to have to do that because it ends up being the same again. It's easy integration. Uh, it has a lot of custom looks, meaning you can customize the appearance of the form to make it look very cool and nice and inviting. But the user friendliness, the user experience, and the conversational, conversational aspect of Typeform is what really sells the form. It's it feels like you're talking to another, another person and not filling out the form, which is pretty cool if that's something you're looking for. Now, I did not go through the pricing of HubSpot forms, because I just forgot, but I'll go through it here on Typeform, and then maybe go through it again for HubSpot. So here for pricing, just to keep things on the same page. So pricing, they have a free plan, you have a basic one at 25 per month, $25 per month. They have one plus at 50 per month. What else? Business at 83 per month. And lastly, the enterprise, which is a custom price depending on what you're looking for. Let's, before I finish this, let's just do the pricing of HubSpot. I'll go through it quick. So let's put HubSpot. These prices are kind of weird because they don't really have pricing for the form itself. It's more based on the pricing of HubSpot, the CRM and their ecosystem. So I wouldn't really take it so, uh, you know, so this information so serious because I could be wrong. But this is just going off base of based off the CRM itself. So they have a basic at 25 per month. Let's see, here, sorry, 45 per month. They have a professional at hundreds per month, and they have a enterprise at thousands per month. Thousands. Again, this is this doesn't really mean much because. I can only find pricing on the CRM itself. So I guess if I skipped it, you know, just go to the website and see if you can find the prices because I could not. Going on to Typeform, let's go to the price to the cons now. 
again, this is where you see the true colors of this tool. So the cons is that it's more expensive than other tools. Starting at 25 is not so bad, but there are a lot of free lead capture forms out there, especially if you're on Webflow or if you're on WordPress or Wix or Squarespace or any other website platform or CMS. So if you really want to have a, a great looking form, a very smart form, you have to pay extra for that, which is kind of, a, I, I see why people might want to use it, but if you don't care much for forms, then maybe just stick to the free plan and see if you like it or not. Um, also their complexity. This goes along with the next one as well, which is their, uh, what is it called here? Limited conditional logic. So for this limited conditional logic, the way Typeform works is since it's like more of a conversation, you have to plan out how you want the conversation to go depending on the questions you ask. So it's more dynamic, it's smarter, so it kind of learns what to ask, what not to ask which is pretty cool. Uh, again, it's more of a conversation, so it takes a lot more work to set up the logic behind the, how the form works. Not like HubSpot form, which is more just straight to the point, the questions you want and that's it. So again, if you want more of a conversational type form, which maybe for surveys or feedback might be better because that's something that people just don't want to fill out. So if it's more of a conversation, they might do it. So this is where it gets a bit complex if you want a conversational style. And lastly here will be companies that use Typeform. There's Airbnb. There is Hermes. Nike. Uber. And Apple. So a lot of, of huge companies use Typeform over HubSpot, at least these, are, these companies, I think, are much larger than the ones using HubSpot. So if Apple and Uber and Nike can use them, I think it's worth giving a shot. I think these brands also focus more on user experience and the conversation over just a simple direct lead form. So that's probably why they like the way Typeform works. This is number two here, not number one. Making mistakes today. <laughs> okay, um, now lastly, which is number three, All right. All right, number three will be Jot Form. Another very popular lead capture form out there. They've been around for a while. I'll go through that later. But a lot of people like to use this tool. We have many clients that use Jot Form and they love it. Uh, it just depends what you're looking for in the actual lead catching process, the questions you ask. So take a look into job form if you're interested in finding out more, but let's go through the uh, summary of it. So the history of job form, or at least an overview, is they're founded in 2006, I think the same year as HubSpot, I believe, and they're based in San Francisco, California, Some key features here. Let's put key features and pros because I already made that mistake once or twice. And let's start with that. They have a cool drag and drop builder. Drag and drop. So it's very intuitive for the user, for you trying to create the form. It's just it's not so complex and make it easy to use so that anyone can really create the form that they're looking to, to create. They have a lot of templates, which the other two do not. Job form, since it's been around for a long time, people have templates for all types of businesses, for all types of forms and feedbacks and surveys. So it kind of does a lot of work for you without you having to, to create it from scratch. So that's a cool thing, they have a lot of templates. And it integrates easily with other tools. For example, type, type form and job form have the advantage over HubSpot because both job form and type form integrate with other 
platforms and don't, they don't hinder their performance as much as HubSpot does. Because again, HubSpot wants you to be on their ecosystem. So that's where Jotform and Typeform have the advantage that they can work on multiple platforms and it's not so bad or slow. Okay, now going on to the pricing. Let's erase this first. So, there's my integrations. All right. Now some cons here. I keep erasing the title here. If you're still watching, guys, we're almost done. Sorry for all the mistakes I've been doing, but we're gonna finish no matter what. Okay, history. No. Not even history, guys. I'm going crazy today. Okay, cons. The cons of job form. More expensive than others, just like type form. The, I'll go through the pricing next so you have a better idea. Um, it has a learning curve, which even though it is a drag and drop builder for your forms, I've messed with it and it's, it is easy, you just have to spend some time learning how to use it. Um, I believe not, I believe even all three are not even that easy to use. You still have to dedicate some time to read about it, watch some videos on YouTube, learn some tutorials of how to use it, but I wouldn't be so scared of you know, the learning curve behind any form because it just requires some, some uh, knowledge to just learn about how, you, how it works. And apparently, it has slow performance compared to other forms, which kind of goes contrary because they say they work really well with third-party tools and solutions, but some people have said that it has slow performance. You have to dig into that deeper to see if that's true or not. They might already know this, they might have already fixed this issue, but just keep that in mind if you decide to go with job form. Test it out, use your free plan, see if it works well for you. If not, use another, another solution. Their pricing is, let's see, they have a free plan just like everyone. They have bronze at 34 per month. They have silver at 39 per month. They have gold at 99 per month and enterprise. I don't know why so many companies have such elaborate plan just keep it simple have three plans max a free a premium and an enterprise that's it like nothing against job form but i assume type form is the same in house but they have this crazy sheet that goes through every single plan and all the features and a bunch of things that most people don't even know what you're talking about so you make it even harder when you have so many plans but whatever <laughs> i digress um try out the free plan if the other ones if it works well and it does what you want it to do Talk to the customer support, see if the bronze or the silver might be a better choice depending on how many monthly form submissions you want to do, or how many users you want to, to access the form builder. And lastly, some companies that use job form, they've been around for a long time, so I would expect large companies. Number one would be Adobe, Red Bull, Chanel, Ford, and Netflix. Massive companies, again, if they can use it, so can you. But it does not mean that what works for them would work best for you. You have to try out different forms, different solutions, and see which one works or does it, does the, does it what you want it to do. Now just to recap a quick summary of all three before I let you guys go. I'm not sure how long this video is, but if you stay to the end, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Also, if the sound is better, awesome, let me know because I think that fixes the issue that I had before with the sound, with the audio. All right, quick summary. I'm not gonna go through the pricing because every company is different. What's expensive for one company might be cheap for another. I'm gonna go through use cases. So there's HubSpot forms.
there is type form and jot form. To keep it very simple, if you're using the CRM of HubSpot, use HubSpot forms. If not, look for something else. Type form. If you want a more conversational style form, mainly for surveys or feedback, for forms that people just don't want to fill out, but if you make the experience fun and, and easy to do, they're going to do it. So let's put here for conversational forms, maybe more for like surveys or feedback. You can also use it for just capturing leads, but I think they might serve better for surveys and feedback. But again, I could be wrong. And job form is just an all around tool that does pretty much everything. So if you're looking for something that's easy to use, easy to use, has a lot of templates and is just uh, easy to integrate with other tools, I recommend job form. Again, some of our clients use job form, they love it. So depending on what you want, these are the quick summaries of each one. I hope you learned something new. I definitely did knowing that Type form might be more what I'm looking for. I might kind of I might try them out more than I have before because I've only just worked around with their free plan. But again, uh, we're pretty happy with HubSpot. So either way, everyone's different. Every company is different. And I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, if you watch to the end, please subscribe below or give me a like or something just to know that uh, you guys just you know stay here to the end. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day and week. See you on the next one. Bye.